Hey, what's up, Nevo? And today I have probably one of the greatest Halo gameplays in actually the world right now. At least I think so. Um, today I was playing SWAT and I actually got a 35 kill out of 50 team kills. That is just insane. I I don't even know how I got this. I was actually going for 20 pluses. Then I thought I actually might have actually pulled off the 30 plus, and I did. It was amazing. It was, this game was just awesome. I I could not believe how I got this thing, but today I actually want to talk about Halo 4 and actually getting better at Halo 4. I don't know how many of you guys actually play it, because it's not like some people just think it's stupid, but some people think they think they love it. There's a whole like battle between the Halo 4 and the uh, COD Black Ops 2, so, um, so yeah, today I want to talk about how to get better at Halo or any Halo or really just Halo 4. Um, so the first tip I'm going to give you guys, these are actually in the description is aim for the head all the time I mean my I don't know why but whenever I shoot at something or anybody in the game I automatically aim for the head just just practice it just do it I don't know how why I do it but I just automatically do it but it will help you insanely so just try and get that down aim for the head it will help you so much and actually in SWAT in the gameplay as you can see I barely ever get body kills. I don't even think I get one body kill. I am aiming for the head 24-7. Um, my second tip is go for the power weapons. Um, if you don't know what I mean by power weapons, I mean like the shotgun, the sniper, the rocket launcher. Just go for them. You can get them in ordinances, which I will go on about later. Um, so yeah, you just go for the power weapons. They are, will help you get a lot of kills like the energy sword. If you can use that thing right, it will get you probably about like a five kill streak at least. Um, third tip: Don't rush if you do not know how to. I know how to rush in this game. I am I'm actually a really good Halo player, surprisingly. Um, if you don't know how to rush, just sit back, pick them off with the DMR. Like I said in in, in the first one, aim for the head. It will be easy. Uh, my fourth one, use the radar to the greatest ability. I cannot stress this enough. It is the biggest thing in Halo 4 or any Halo. If you use the radar and know how to, it will give you so many easy kills. Just shooting around the corner if you have an AR suppressor or a light, or whatever it was. Light, not light rifle. Yeah, light rifle, yeah. Um, so yeah, just use the radar to your ability. You can use, easily use it, including Sensor, Promethean Vision, uh, I think there's Marksman. Um, think fifth one? Yeah, fifth one. Use what gun you're good with. Uh, I am personally good with the DMR, the Battle Rifle, and sort of the Long Rifle. Um, it's I'm I'm basically good with the, like the precision weapons, like the Battle Rifle and the DMR. I don't know why, I just I aim for the head probably. Um, sixth one, map strategy. You know how to use the map. The main thing I can tell you in Halo maps is the Halo maps are constructed that there's always usually a building or a big open field to battle within the middle, and then there's the side, I call, I call, I'd call them sidelines, on around the sides where you can either easily have 1v1 map, like gunfights on people, which is very simple. Now, I usually stick to the sides because you don't get grouped up, um, which is the next tip, is single out the pack. You don't want to fight, you don't want to fight, like, five people at once. You're not going to win that at all. Maybe if you have, like, a rocket launcher, but you're not going to win that with a DMR or any normal weapon. Single out the pack, that's why you stick to the sides, because you will have one person to fight, maybe two or three at the most. Um, if you have friends to play with, use them you storm up get them all get your friends together and just storm as a group because enemies can't take out groups like i was just saying um go for ordinances the ordinances you get from getting medals like headshots um sniping kills is a really a good way to get ordinances um assassination i think is one yeah um melee i think beatdowns one and play a game type that you're good at good at i cannot talk today um, play a game type that you're good at. As you can see, I'm playing SWAT. I'm good at SWAT. I like it. It's a lot better. Maybe you're good at, say, Flood. Play Flood. You're, if you're good at it, then and you get good gameplays, or you just like playing it, then play it. It's that simple. 
Now, I'm I those are all the tips I have. They're in the description. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. They're in the description, as I keep saying. Uh, I cannot stress that enough. People do not look in the description on YouTube at all. Um, can we get, let's say, 15 likes on this video? Um, I want to see you guys like this up. Um, the Nevo team, or staff, as you guys could call them, I guess. I don't know what to call it. I don't know what they might be called. But Mitch has allowed me to have a weekly series, as you can see, as is posted on Sunday. Um, on Nevo Central, so I'm very thankful for that. Um, Thanksgiving just happened. Uh, so yeah, thanks Mitch, thanks everybody around there. Please subscribe to my channel, it's right there in the description. I would really like more subscribers, I am not gaining any now. I am really on a download with YouTube. I'm about ready to quit, so please don't let that happen. I do not want to quit, I love doing this, but if I don't have the motivation, then... I guess I can't really help that, but... So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna uh, let it go from here. So, see you guys next time. Bye.